Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss on the topic sexual reproduction in flowering plant and this video is presented to you by www.examhe.com. So as we have discussed in our previous video about uh, uh, the how the double fertilization takes place in angiosperm and uh, the whole process of double fertilization and the post fertilization changes. So here I am going to continue the post fertilization changes. So the post fertilization changes can be discussed under the subtopic endosperm formation, embryo formation, seed formation and fruit formation. So as I have discussed earlier that after the fertilization takes place after the fusion of uh, male gamete with the egg cell and uh, the polar nuclei take place the this is the diagram of a flower bisexual flower okay the petals sepals stamen this is the stamen stigma and a style all will falls off and only the post fertilization changes will occur in the ovarian part of the flower okay so first we will discuss endosperm formation so endosperm how the endosperm is formed so to understand that I will make a diagram of an embryo sac having three antibotal cell egg cell with two synergid cell and two polar nuclei so when the fertilization take place between the uh, egg cell and the male gamete which enter through the po pollen tube through the micropyle end this is the pollen tube and these are two male gamete this pollen tube bursts inside the uh, embryo sac and releases and uh, one of the male uh, nuclei male uh, gamete will fuse to the egg cell forming a zygote and the other one fuses with the polar nuclei forming a primary endosperm nucleus ok so this primary endosperm nucleus will provide the nourishment to the developing embryo and uh, depending the mode of formation of uh, the endosperm it is divided into three types nuclear endosperm cellular endosperm and helloable endosperm ok so this is the nuclear endosperm this is cellular endosperm and this is helloable endosperm so now we are going to discuss the nuclear endosperm so what occur in nuclear endosperm this is the primary endosperm nuclei PEN primary endosperm nucleus it will divide mitotically and uh, after the division there is no immediate uh, cell wall formation will take place first the division will occur and the cells were pushed towards the periphery towards the periphery the division will occur continuous and the nuclei then pushed towards the periphery this is the nuclei arranged themselves along the periphery and uh, the large vacuole will appear at the center having a free nuclei ok so the example of nuclear endosperm is the coconut if you have observed the coconut this is the coconut this is the outermost wall ok so this is the 
area which is called coconut meat and the nuclei first arranged themselves towards the periphery and inside it you have seen the milky part which is called coconut milk which is liquid having free nuclei okay now we are going to discuss cellular endosperm so what occur in cellular endosperm this is the micropyle end and this is the chalazal end so first of all the primary endosperm nuclei starts dividing mitotically and from the very beginning it will become cellular so as the division will take place from the center then towards the periphery the wall will form and this will full packed with the cells okay that's why it is called cellular endosperm so the example is dhatura so the difference between the nuclear and the cellular endosperm is in uh, nuclear endosperm the division will take place and the nuclei first arrange themselves towards the periphery forming a cell wall but in cellular endosperm the division will take place in the center and uh, the cells will start forming from the center and then afterwards they they were arranged uh, towards the periphery forming a cell wall okay in this the middle part will remain liquid as uh, it contain the free nuclei and in cellular uh, the and sperm is full fully packed with the cells okay this is the chalazal end and this is the micropyle end okay now helloible endosperm so in helloible endosperm same the primary endosperm nuclei will mitotically divide and it is the kind of intermediate type of endosperm formation between the nuclear and cellular okay so what occur in this is the first division of the primary endosperm is followed by the formation of wall okay so first the cells will arrange themselves and also arrange themselves inside but it is not fully packed okay it is generally found in monocotyledon so this is the micropyle end oh sorry chalazal end and this is micropyle okay so from this diagram now you can understand that in uh, nuclear endosperm the cells were arranged along the periphery in cellular the cells are fully packed and in helloible the cells are arranged towards the periphery and also to the uh, center but it is not fully packed okay so the endosperm may be starchy as you have seen in rice may be oily as in castor in cereal or outermost layer of the endosperm is rich in protein in several endosperm now you have you will see in this di in this uh, diagram uh, this is the example of albuminous seed albuminous seed and this is the example of x albuminous seed 
okay so in some uh, seeds the endosperm become the prominent part of the seed as you have seen in this in this diagram this is the endosperm this part is the endosperm and it has become the prominent part of the seed okay this is the outer seed coat testa this is this is the cotyledons okay and in some the endosperm is completely absorbed by the growing embryo and food reserve get stored in the cotyledon so this is the cotyledon which is stored this is the cotyledon which is stored the food as a reserve okay so this is called non endospermic or x albuminous seed okay so in this the endosperm is completely absorbed by the growing embryo as you have seen the this cotyledon has fully absorbed uh, the endosperm and it become the storage cotyledon and in this the endosperm has became the prominent part of the seed okay so now next we are going to discuss the embryo formation so first of all we have discussed how the endosperm is formed now we are going to discuss how the embryo will form so the embryo will form when the fusion between the egg and the male gametophyte take place when these both fuse the zygote will form and after further division it will convert it into the embryo mature embryo develop into the mature embryo and this process is called embryo gam now zygote will only divide when some endosperm will form so that the zygote can ge get the nourishment from the endosperm this is a kind of adaptation which will provide the nutrition to the developing embryo okay so uh, the zygote is in of 2n condition having both male and female uh, equal number of chromosome after that the first division will occur now in this diagram you can see the first division is occur this part is endosperm which will provide nourishment to the developing embryo okay now the zygote will develop a cellulose wall and become the oospore so this oospore have the basal suspensor cell and the terminal embryo cell so the suspensor cell lie towards the micropylon and the embryo cell lies towards the antipodal cell so the basal suspensor cell this area lies towards the micropylon and the embryo cell this area lies towards the antipodal cell okay so further division of the two cell structure give rise to the filament which is globular and undifferentiated so further division will occur and it will form a globular and undifferentiated filament this is uh, this part is endosperm which is providing nourishment to develop the embryo okay this is the embryo now it will further develop into a uh, radical plumules and cotyledon and become a heart shape this is the heart shape having two cotyledons okay now the division will occur further and as you have seen in this diagram 
this is the plumule this is suspensor suspensor and uh, this is radical this is radical and these are cotyledon and this whole part is endosperm okay now further it will develop utilize the endosperm in some uh, plant in some uh, seeds the endosperm is completely utilized as you have seen in this the endosperm is completely utilized and became the stored uh, cotyledon storage cotyledon and in this you have seen the endosperm has become the permanent part of the seed okay so in, the, in this diagram you can see the endosperm is completely utilized okay now this plumule at the apical end give rise to the shoot apical meristem and this uh, radical this radical will further develop into root apical meristem so likewise the formation of embryo ends okay so now the seed is ready to further germinate and further uh, give rise to new generation okay